Hello and welcome. This is Lord Arcadis for uh, Project Zomboid. This is version 31.9, early access. It's been out for a pretty long time. I'm just kind of getting into it now just because uh, it's good. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, mods, I do have mods in this, so this is going to be a 100% vanilla playthrough. A lot of these you may see as pretty common. In fact, they're pretty much the only mods on the entire site, other than, I guess, a couple that are either outdated or no longer in uh, use. A couple of these I've disabled just because, while it's good for immersion's sake, it's not good for a playthrough, and I've tried to do this as a uh, kind of a balance between realism and okay. Dirty Water, I was actually debating of whether or not to remove it or not. Uh, it doesn't really matter as much. Uh, Blind Coder's inventory screen, I actually am going to be removing just because I tried it just kind of as a test and it did not work too well for me. So, mm. Lettering's just kind of for immersion's sake. Uh, OR Mountain Man's real gun mod, I've actually been helping him on... Um, I guess developing it or at least testing it. So yeah, you can actually check his mod out in the description. It's probably going to be the only one I'm going to be linking at this time. But yeah, this ends. Uh, it's not a bad mod. It's actually got. It's actually come a long way. So yeah, I've actually been helping with ideas and suggestion and a little bit of coding. I'm not exactly. I used to do some Lua coding, but I just haven't done it in such a long time that it pretty much has escaped my brain so yeah and some of these are technically outdated but they still function so yeah uh, let's get on with this sandbox I'm gonna I have a couple settings here uh, I'm just going to be starting a new one and this is going to be my YouTube playthrough YouTube one. I'm actually going. Uh, I have a couple maps that are also installed, like New Denver, uh, Bedford Falls, and uh, this one's technically supposed to say Muldra, but it uh, kind of got mixed up, and I guess the download changes that a bit. It really doesn't matter as much. They all function properly. I think Deadwood is in here. Or I think it's Deadwood, something like that. It just doesn't show up as a selectable thing. Uh, let's go with that, because I just kind of like starting this one. Uh, save setting, I usually go with like some sort of standard, as you see I have a couple saved ones. I usually go with like a standard, which is, uh, the day length is about an hour. Overall, it's not too bad. Uh, I adjust the zombie lore, I kind of like the slow but powerful. I, I've realized that, uh, this might not be the best solution for high because I tried to do that and it became quite a significant problem it really uh, I don't know it's like every time I go into a house there's like 10 to 12 of them in there or if there's like a small residential area it might just be three but they're again superhuman and tough so it's a significant thing. Uh, I think I'm actually going to bring this down to zero to one, uh, zero to twelve hours as well, just for fun. And o other than that, uh, I think I have the settings to like normal food spawn, rare weapons, and abundant other. This is supposed to be taking place immediately, like within two to three days after the initial Daisy or Z day or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I think that should be fine. Uh, Everything normal, no starter kit. Uh, yeah, that should be about fine. Next. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with a random name for these ones. It doesn't really matter as much. This can be the uh, live this person's life type thing. Oh, I didn't even know you could actually change this. I must have forgotten that. Or either that or it's really, really new. I'm pretty sure that's all about the same. Uh, next. Now this one, if I'm usually going for a, like a quick playthrough, I go with athletic and either clumsy or all thumbs or something like that. But I'm actually gonna kind of try to build this one up. I remember that uh, I 
um, I think it was veteran that I was going with at some point, and the veteran's not that bad, but it, as you see, it takes a lot of extra points just to balance that out. But it does have the added benefit of not go, uh, reaching certain stages of panic, which is very helpful, especially when you're facing hordes, and you can't afford to not have the endurance. So, mm, I kind of like that one, just because there are guns in here, and the guns are powerful, and I kind of need them. Ta da Usually I go with like high thirst and high nah, hearty appetite, and it usually gives out a pretty good balance. I usually, uh, let's see, uh, I think, what is it, Outdoorsman? Okay, yeah, I'll go with that one, and these two. That's usually about fine, and uh, this one's going to be kind of a, a risky one, because these two are actually pretty important as is, so... I guess we are on an hour day cycle. I think it's either twice or three times as long as normal, so I think we should be able to get enough water and stuff like that before, I guess, time runs out. Uh, I also have, it. I think, two months for electricity, or zero to two months, and zero to six months for water to go out, because in reality, power would likely go out faster than water just because well water processing plants do still have uh, like backups they aren't gonna last nearly that long but there wasn't an easy medium for that and something popped up on my screen I don't like that I hope no one saw that but it, it just annoyed me something is performing background tasks oh these are the end times This one might take a little bit uh, of a time to load, but uh, there was no hope of survival. But yeah, uh, I don't have the best computer, but it's decent enough. I haven't had any trouble running this stuff, so I should be fine, I hope. This is how you died. And yeah, basically this game is... Uh, it's not so much as winning the game as you will eventually die, but it's to see how long you survive. And that's kind of the process here, is you want to do as much as you can to survive. So yeah, this one's going to be kind of a, a difficult one to play, but it should be... I guess fine enough that it wouldn't matter as much. I probably should have had a. Uh, I usually have like multiple screens for stuff like this, and I'm hoping things are running. Ooh, a little bit of lag here. Uh, it shouldn't be that bad, but I just wanted to make sure. It might just be that initial starting up of uh, lag. Uh, I don't even have a backpack or anything, so ooh, I probably shouldn't run. That was a mistake on my part. Kind of used to uh, run and gun type settings. Uh, I'll take that since I don't have anything else. Oh, what's better? Oh yeah, I have these. These are actually changing themselves and they're annoying me because I actually had this set about there. So I can actually see stuff and then extended it. Uh, capacity. Oh. Definitely no. Definitely no. School bag's much better than that. Uh, put, on, uh, put that on your back. If it'll do it. I need these. I usually try to start the first one out, or the first, I guess, area, by blocking off primary things. You want to add sheets to these, and then, uh, like, close curtains. That's just to prevent things from actually noticing that you're here. Add sheet. Close curtains. 
right now I'm just trying to avoid a lot of things. Uh, that's, uh, oh yeah, I forgot the, wait. Dirty water should be on, so that's actually a bug. <sighs> well, I, I guess I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff here. Okay, I want these cotton swabs. Anything in there? Nope. And this is part of Hydrocraft, is just a lot of everything here. I'm gonna need that. Toothpaste, vitamins. Vitamins aren't really as helpful, but, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Let's see. Can opener, definite. Butter knife, in unless I can find a better weapon. I'm gonna have to take that. Go to this primary. Kitchen knife might work, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna find one. Okay, I need that water bottle. Need some cereals. I grabbed a can opener, I need that. Things in here, I can use the beef jerky. Doesn't uh, degrade, I can toss that in. Uh, For now, I can eat that, as it should be fine for a while. Canned cranberries. They're not bad. Uh, nails, I kind of want, but then again, I kind of don't want to have too many of them, so I'm just going to take those 20 and I should be fine. Coffee. Yada yada. Ooh. Okay, these are always preserved type materials. Uh, don't take these, these are junk, unfortunately, they're kind of bugged in that, oh, they're not bugged, they do exactly what they do, but they're not helpful in any way. They allow you to basically make food that can be stored, but, uh, they're not helpful. They pretty much kill you faster than they can actually help you. Okay, hold right click and you can actually kind of, like, look around, and while I am lagging, this might be a problem. Okay, there's a zombie. Anything here? Any zombies? Okay, yeah, I don't want to be there. I will be going in the other direction. I need to fix something. This is bad. Okay, I adjusted some settings. I don't think it really mattered as much. I'm hoping this is fine. I wasn't having any uh, lag issues to begin with, so that was an oddity that it just suddenly started lagging in this one. I may have like a running process in the back, which I'm not happy about if that's the case. I have that happen every once in a while. Well, just something decides to start running, and it usually takes up all the CPU or something, and it just continuously keeps bothering me, and I want to check. I'm just checking to see if there's anything alive inside. If something's alive in there, I don't want it. Huh? Everything seems to be fine here. Now the thing is, does it have an alarm? Because yes, there are alarms. That's not something I want to hear, ever. I need to be fast now. Ooh, gun. I need to be faster here, because this is... That kind of is deadly. What happened there is deadly, and I need to get out of here fast. Because that scream can actually kill you, because, uh... There's a lot of things that like to hear those screams, and they're probably more dangerous. Uh, take cigarettes, take anything you can with that. Ooh, I'll take that duffel bag because that duffel bag is probably a lot better than anything I have. Uh, I need this off. <laughs> Unequip. 
equip on the back and equip that secondary. Okay, I need to get that out because I can't see. Uh, unfortunate uh, side effect is when you're looting, you can't really see as much. Don't need that, don't need that. Hammer, I'll definitely take that hammer because that hammer will be a lot better than my uh, knife. I'm just kind of looking for a weapon or tools I can use as weapons. Ladles, junk, 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 junk. I don't know why this isn't working. That kind of sucks, actually, quite badly. Uh, take those water bottles. Vodka, I don't think degrades, so I want to keep that. Uh, what is it? I'm thinking for some reason, and I need to grab that. And I need a pen. Now, I kind of did uh, do a few modifications. I actually want one of those, but uh, not right now. Uh, I did a bit of modification to a couple of these to make sure they can actually work. Because unfortunately, some of these mods were like recently had an addition to it, like the uh, Hydrocraft. It had an addition, and it actually made it. Uh, it made a couple things that weren't possible possible, and it's good. However, they weren't actually functional because they were adding something that didn't actually have the proper materials to make it. Or it, di it just didn't have the correct spawns for those items. And I kind of want to deposit a lot of this stuff off at my base and hopefully blank it off everything else. I should have four sheets. Okay, yeah, I should be fine. Hoping. Because if something's out front, I had to kill it. And killing things in this game are, is a bit, uh, bit hard. Especially if you have the settings like I did. Because my settings were specifically to... Ooh, I don't have enough. Ooh, that's... That's not fun. Close curtains. Ooh, I can't even reach that one, can I? Oh yeah, I have to go out, for, out back for that one, okay. Add sheet. Close curtain. Can I reach that one at least? Close curtain. And that's not terrible how that is right now, but I still don't want anything being able to see in here. That's kind of the downside of is if you are not careful with this, this game will kill you hands down it will kill you and I want to take a quick bite to eat for my guy that way it's I want to eat about a fourth and let's get a quick bonus it won't really matter as much I want to reload that wall everything's fine uh, that's just in case I need to kill something I can actually do it I don't really need these on hand. The orange, I should be able to slice this. Nope, I need an actual knife for that. Oh, oh well. Baking pan is actually something you can actually use to slice or dry these, which is what I was trying to do. And that's one of the things that was kind of broken is that you can't really slice anything for that. I'm actually going to leave this here just because I don't need to have it on hand. Magazines, take a couple of these, or one or two of them should be fine. You just need to be able to read one or two of them every once in a while to make sure that you don't get too bored or sad or whatever. I don't think really sadness has any major issues with it. It's just kind of one of those moodles that you want to, and yes, they're actually called moodles or whatever you call them. Actually, they're called moodles. They're basically status effects if you want to say it you can have like and let's try to 
kill it, get it on the ground. You always want me. Okay, that's one of those bugs where it's just... Oh uh, yeah, you can also steal money off of some of these, and I just do that for the fun of it, because why not? Ooh, got some coin. The money really doesn't have any purpose, but... Okay, I never did check the bathroom, did I? Be warned, bathrooms can be deadly in this game. In fact, they're often the end of, uh... Most people that are not prepared, and I want to grab that, and a couple sheets, that should be fine. You always want to carry at least three to four sheets on you at all times, that way, when you go to, I guess, loot, you want to be able to place up a lot of sheets, that way you're safe. Uh, I think this will end for what I'm doing right now, uh, this, I should be able to call it right now, and just checking quickly. I'm going to see you on the next episode. If you like what you're watching, subscribe. If not, oh well. Have a nice day. And I probably should have gone for a vest. Ooh, you can see that's a little grouping. And you, yes, you can actually scroll a little bit further on the sides. And it allows easier, uh, I guess, vision. But I'll see you in a minute.